Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today we are having one very interesting and challenging radical equation problem. It is x plus 2 whole square equal to square root 15x square plus 40x plus 26. We have to find out real solutions only. I will begin this problem without writing our domain of the equation. As you can see two things are there. Left hand side should be positive. So it is perfect square. So it would be always positive. Second constraint is this radicand term should be positive. We will talk about this once we will calculate our solutions. Once we will find out our answers. So let's get started straight away. I will remove this square root from RHS by taking squaring both sides. So this will become x plus 2 whole power 4 equal to 15x square plus 40x plus 26. Now I will use substitution. So I will write let x plus 2 equal to t. So our equation will become t power 4 equal to 15x square it is. So from this equation we can write x is equal to t minus 2. We will apply x equal to t minus 2 to our equation. So here we can write t minus 2 whole square plus 40 times t minus 2 plus 26. Now open it. Take the product. Resolve the right hand side. I will write 15 t square minus 40 plus 4. Then I will be writing 40 t minus 80. Then 26 is there. Now let us expand this one also. 15 t square. Then we will be having 60 t. Then 60. Then we are having 40 t minus 80 plus 26. So 15 t square will be there. Now minus 20 t will be there. Minus 20 plus 26. So I will write plus 6 and left hand side is t power 4. Now I will take all the term to LHS or one side. So t power 4 minus 15 t square plus 20 t minus 6 equal to 0. One quartic equation you can see power is 4 so this equation is quartic and there is no cube term. So either we can utilize that property also or we can straight away see if I will add 20 plus 1 21 and minus 15 minus 6 simply addition of the coefficient it is coming out 0. So one root is clearly visible. Let us use that. So I will use synthetic division. So let me write our quartic equation t power 4 minus 15 t square plus 20 t minus 6 equal to 0. Now I will use rational root theorem that is clearly visible. Let me write it straight away t equal to 1. 1 minus 15 plus 20 minus 6. 20 plus 1 21. 15 and 6 21 with negative sign. So yes it is 0. That means t equal to 1 is our base solution. Now we can go for SDM. Synthetic division method. Now I need to write all the coefficient of quartic equation. So I will be writing 1 coefficient of t power 4, coefficient of t cube, it is nowhere, so 0, coefficient of t square minus 15, coefficient of t 20, constant term minus 6. I will consider 1 as it is. Now we have to multiply this number by the base solution. So 1 times 1, 1, 1. 1 times 1, 1, minus 14. 1 times minus 14, minus 14, 6. 1 times 6, 6, 0. So these are coefficient for 
cubic equation. So I will be writing t cube plus t square minus 14 t plus 6 equal to 0. Now again I will use synthetic division and rational root theorem this time. So let me write this cubic equation once t cube then we are having plus t square minus 14 t plus 6 equal to 0. If I will use rational root theorem then coefficients are the factors are plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 and plus minus 6. So let me put it straight away t equal to 3 if I will put. See what will come out? 27 plus 9 minus 42 plus 6. Is it 0? 27 plus 9 36 plus 6 42. Yes, it is making our RHS 0. That means t equal to 3 is our base solution for this cubic equation. Now I will use SDM, synthetic division method. I will write all the coefficients of cubic equation first. Coefficient of t cube 1, coefficient of t square 1, coefficient of t minus 14, constant term 6. Leading coefficient 1, 1 times this base solution of this cubic equation, 3, so 3, 4, 3 times 4 is 12, add both numbers, minus 2, 3 times minus 2, minus 6, 0. These are coefficients for quadratic equation. So I will write t square plus 4t minus 2 equal to 0. Now I will use quadratic formula. So I can write t equal to minus b. So minus 4 plus minus under the root b square. So 16 minus 4ac. So I will write plus 8 because c is negative divided by 2a so 2 so minus 4 plus minus square root 24 is 2 times root 6 divided by 2 so i will write minus 2 plus minus root 6 so we have calculated all the solutions possible let me write here all the values of t first so t equal to 1 t equal to 3, t equal to minus 2 plus minus root 6. But t was our substitution. What was t? t was x plus 2. So now I will calculate x value. Let me write here t equal to 1, 3 and it was minus 2 plus minus square root 6. Now what was x? Substitution was x plus 2 equal to t. So x will be equal to t minus 2. So let me write here t minus 2. So subtract 2 from all the 3 possible result. See it is 1 minus 2. So this value will be minus 1. 3 minus 2. So this value will be 1. And minus 2 plus minus is square root 6 minus 2. So minus 4 plus minus is square root 6. So these are 4 solutions. Solution number 1 minus 1. Solution number 2 plus 1. Solution number 3 with plus sign in between. Solution number 4 with minus sign in between. So we have to only check whether any solution will be rejected or not. So how we will use how we will utilize our domain concept for finding out without calculator. So let me demonstrate how it is. If you will find out the value of minus 4 plus minus root 6. So we know that roughly root 6 is 2.45 or 2.4 we can take up. So minus 4 plus minus 2.45 suppose I am taking. So this value with plus sign I can write 1.55 with negative sign. And with minus sign straight away I will add minus 6.45. This is minus 1, 1, minus 1.455, minus 6.45.
Now this radicand should be positive. So we can apply quadratic formula to find out x values. See one way was simply we can put all the values to this equation. We can straight away check. That is simple method. But for this solution, it would be little bit tedious or tough. So we can do this way also. 40x plus 26. If I will calculate the roots, so I will calculate x is equal to minus b. So minus 40 plus minus under the root b square, so 1600 minus 4 times 15, 60, 60 times 26, 1560 divided by 2a, so 30. So it is ultimately converting into the simple one the square root, this is plus 40 over 30. Now if I will check the value of root 40 then it is 6 point something 6.1 I will take or 6.3 it is. So minus 40 plus minus let me write 6.3 approximate value divided by 30. So once I will take plus sign then it will be minus 1.1 with minus sign it will be minus 1.54. See this radicand should be positive. This should be positive. And once it is positive, then in this interval of minus 1 to minus 1.54, there shouldn't be our solution. Should not be. In this interval, solution should not be there. Or I can write in terms of inequality, I can write x should be less than minus 1.54 and x should be greater than minus 1.1 or in between solution should be rejected. So I will draw one number line. I will point out each and everything. How it is? This is our 0. Now I will write all the possible solutions first. So let me write here minus 1.11. And here it is minus 1.54, the quadratic result. So in this interval, our solution should not be there. This is rejected domain. So remaining portion of the domain, it is true. Means let me write here our results. So minus 1. This was our solution for quadratic equation 1. 1, no problem at all. Then it, it was minus 1.55. So I will be writing here. It is somewhere here. Minus 1.55. Approximate value it is. And last value is minus 6.45. So you can see nothing is coming in this interval. So all four answers are accepted or the direct method is always with us. We can simply put the value to the original quartic equation or this radical equation. We can verify if it is coming out a square root of negative number, then you will reject. So our ultimate and final solution becomes x equal to negative 1, 1, minus 4, plus minus is square root 6. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget friends to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck and take care.